This is my homemade digital modular synthesizer. You're watching Nerd on the Wire. So this is one of my most uh, ambitious projects ever and also like, one of my most difficult to explain. So probably the easiest thing is if I just show the synth in action and then explain why it's different to a regular modular synthesizer. Um, so for the uninitiated, this type of synth is known as a modular synth uh, because it's made up of various different modules, so these blocks um, uh, connected together um, using cables like this. Um, to form the final sound. The simplest way to make a sound is to connect um, an oscillator like this one. So this is a square wave and we just connect that to the output and we get a sound which you can then change the pitch of either with this sort of very coarse knob or this sort of fine tuning one here. Not very musical, but kind of fun. And then you can um, modulate that, so you can change the pitch, for instance. So let's say we want to feed in a different value for what the pitch of this is going to be, and we connect it up to another slower oscillator. You can hear the pitch is now going up and down. And we can either make that happen a bit less, or a bit more, or a bit faster. And then we can take that sound and instead of taking it straight to the output, we can put it through some sort of effect like um, this delay effect. Now you've got a much busier sound because the, the sound is kind of being fed back into itself. Uh, you can tweak these knobs to make different sounds. And then rather than going straight into the output from there, we can make it more complex still. Um, we can go to a filter which takes out some of the high frequency sounds. We can adjust how much of the sound gets through by changing this. And we can adjust what, what it sounds like by changing the resonance. So modular synthesizers have been around for ages and they're currently enjoying like a bit of a renaissance. People really love how much control you have over the sound. Um, this idea of like a fully blank canvas for creating electronic music. Um, what's especially cool with modular synthesizers is that you can just keep adding modules. So if your current setup doesn't have a weird vacuum tube powered distortion module, that's fine, you just buy one and screw it into your rack and then you know you've then got that module. Um, 
which is cool, but modular synthesizers as a whole are, are like super expensive. So like hundred pounds or more for a module, thousands of pounds for a whole system. Um, I didn't really want to get sucked into that rabbit hole of spending all my money on synth modules. Um, but I did really like the idea of connecting up modules to make a sound. Um, it, it didn't really appeal to me to use just a software synthesizer uh, because I wanted the hands-on tactile experience of connecting modules together with cables and then adjusting the dials. So I kind of thought laterally. Um, I was like, what if I wrote my own software synthesizer, like my own virtual modular synthesizer, and then made a physical representation of it, which is what this is. Um, so that's what kind of makes it different from a normal expensive analog modular synthesizer is that all this box does is send messages to a computer saying you know socket A is connected to socket B etc. Um, you can see this on the screen as I change the routing. Um, the box just works as an interface but it's the computer that's listening for the changes and then generating the sound accordingly. But the main difference between this and a proper modular synthesizer is that it's digital instead of analog. Um, so it's never going to have that real warmth that you get from expensive analog modules, and which is, you know, a lot of the reason that people get into mod modular synths. But it only costs about 50 quid to make, which makes it, you know, a completely different ballpark to proper modular synths. And what's really cool is you can actually design your own modules from scratch on this. So you can see I've got you know, blank spaces here. That's because at some point I might think of an effect that you know isn't on here at the moment and that doesn't even really exist anywhere else. And I can just write the code, drill some holes in here, put some new um, sockets and dials in there, a um, little bit of coding, and then I'll have this new module. So it makes it really kind of flexible for that. Um, the whole thing's only a prototype at the moment, but I think it could be like a really interesting middle ground between software synthesizers and modular synthesizers. Um, if you're interested in exactly how the synth works, there's a much more in-depth video that I made about it here. Um, I hope you found this interesting, uh, it's been really fun to show you my synth, and hope I'll see you soon.